You might remember a few years back, I devoted two whole videos to what a lousy time I had at the Montgomery County Fair. Well, this year, Danny and I decided to try again, and we brought Matt along. We started with the arts, crafts, and baked goods building. Look, craft competitions I get, but to me, edible sculptures? No. By the time they've been judged and displayed for a week, they're stale. I know this guy might disagree, but he wants that guy's leg. Don't look at me like that. I'm not saying there's no craftsmanship in these gingerbread houses or... No, not the bees! Not the bees! My point is, if I can't eat a snack, it fails in its real function. And wait, gingerbread houses? Those are Christmas things, just... Oh, man, I know shopping centers put their decorations up earlier and earlier every year, but the fair was about a week after my birthday. In August! Anyway, at the flea market, we found this. And damn it, even when I'm not trying to make a Flintstones video, they show up. We found Gizmo in the family fun barn and... Hey, that's not Gizmo. This is Gizmo. These people must have very bad vision because they think this is Princess Leia. Either that or every 80s and 90s guy with a Return of the Jedi poster on their wall with a furry. We didn't even get to look at many animals before we first spotted the mysterious stilt lady who roamed the fairgrounds doing, well, circus stuff, I guess. Now, let's enjoy some music and goats and cows and things for a bit. when one last stop on our animal tour. And here it is, folks. 
Ah, no, not the bees! Not the bees! Well, this year, all three of us decided to quote our favorite Nicolas Cage movie. Not the bees! What the cake? I'm the spirit of vengeance. Another spot where things went wrong last time was the money barn. Remember? Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. But I'll be looking for a long time because there are no bunnies in the bunny barn. Well, this year... but not Christmas in August. Ah, the pigs. The only things in the world that are lazier and have worse hygiene than a YouTuber. They were about to be judged, so we had to scoot. Danny wanted to play some games, but didn't want to fork over any cash. But don't worry, my friend, you could be a winner. If the pedestrian is safe, Danny got Matt to spend too. Me. But unlike these two losers, I didn't make it to the Plinko round. Here's what every kid wants to take home from the fair. A souvenir booth. Next was lunchtime. Well, it was for Danny and Matt. Me, I'm smart. We were going to a local buffet for dinner. I knew there was only one thing at the fair I actually wanted to eat. A funnel cake. And I got it. Other than that, I skipped one. Now it was finally my turn to pick an activity. I was tired and wanted to sit down, so we went to the magic show. I have too much respect for the craft to record it, but if you have the chance to see extreme illusions and escapes, you should. We saw this cool looking fire hydrant. Matt wanted to know why I wanted to include it. Now you know. We tried to head to the ghost again when we had our second encounter with Stilt Lady. Then Danny had a simple five minute errand which took 20 minutes. There was nothing to see there, apart from this weird Garfield for some reason. We went to this old-timey general store and... God damn it! At 
least they had these overpriced Laurel and Hardy piggy banks, we wondered why there was nothing really happening at the woodcarver's booth. It turns out we were about 20 minutes early for a show. We had some time to kill, so we stayed to watch. It was more fun than I thought it would be. After that, it was a quick swoop to the poultry barn. Pun not intended. <laughs> make good filler, so here they are. You might remember last year I was upset about missing the pig races. Well, this year I wish I hadn't gone. During the first race, I bet it all on number three, and well... didn't go well. So Matt said, double or nothing? I said, sure. And... Damn it! The third race, well, if next week is an unscheduled off week, you can guess what happened. Some goon working for Matt said, Nice YouTube channel you got there. It'd be a shame if something happened to it. After a long, tiring day, we decided to head out. But before we did, Matt got to see his goats after all. They were being taken for a walk. And he got to say goodbye to Stilt Lady. If you liked this video, please hit like and subscribe. Leave a comment, and if you want to see this channel grow, visit patreon.com slash parodyerrorfilms and become a patron today. I always wanted. But Matt didn't think it would survive being tied to the roof of his car. 